by the people, for the people. Number 10, Mining for Madness. Ever heard of the quest for El Dorado? The 10th most mysterious place is the Superstitious Mountains, located in Arizona. This famous area has left people going crazy and even dying while searching for its fabled treasure. In 1891, German miner Jacob Woltz claimed that he discovered a gigantic gold mine that would have made anyone who mined it rich beyond their wildest dreams. Unluckily for him, he became ill and died before being able to strike it rich. The only reason we know about this fabled place is because he confessed it on his deathbed to the last person he ever talked to, a hotel worker who had taken care of him until his death. As word spread, many people went looking for the mine. The weird thing is that many that go looking don't return, and actually end up dying as they set out to find Walt's lost treasure. Oh, those pictures what are makes not this even stranger are the legends mountains. on Native Americans that I live claim by that those these mountains. lost treasures those are, are guarded not by the mountains. little people that live deep within the mountains. When explorers set off down into the depths of these mountains, some claim that they hear unexplainable noises, maybe even people laughing. It's no wonder that the Apaches believe that someone in these mountains, along with the gold, is the entrance to hell. Sounds more like the mines of Moria to me. Number 9. In space, no one can hear you scream. Number 9 is a little freaky. We always hear stories of ghosts, people disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle and stuff like that. But this one is backed up by scientists who experience this every day. Location number 9 is the South Atlantic Space Anomaly that is located around the coast of Brazil. Even though it's been reported to change in size and move from time to time, when scientists began doing work here in the 1950s, they noticed that their instruments were being affected by some strange force that they couldn't explain. In fact, when spaceships and satellites pass through the SAS, That's area, really strange. their laptops and equipment crash and can't operate, making it dangerous to pass through without experiencing tons of problems. Communication is also a difficulty, so much so that the International Space Station has to be equipped with extra shields and the people inside aren't allowed to do spacewalks while they're suffering from the anomaly. People wow. have measured levels of radiation in different waves that are influencing our tech in the SASA area, but so far it's been hard trying to figure out what exactly causes it. Some predict that it's the magnetic field that surrounds our Earth, and it's weakening, which distorts radiation in this location. But to be honest, we really don't know what causes it. What we do know is that the anomaly is there, and something definitely strange is going on. Next time you're floating around in space looking down at us, bring your tinfoil hats because it's about to get extraterrestrial. Number 8. Here today, gone tomorrow. Things get serious when one person goes missing, but when an entire village disappears overnight, man. Number 8 is the story of Lake Anijikuni, located deep in northern Canada where fur trader Joe LaBelle, who was well known to the village, returned one day to find food being cooked, half-sewn clothes, and hot water boiling, but without a single soul anywhere in sight. As he continued his search, LaBelle found multiple dead sled dogs and a single grave dug up. Still, there was nobody in sight. As he returned back home as fast as he could, weird. obviously scared out of his mind, he reported to the Northwest Mounted Police the situation that unfolded before him at the lake. As the NWMP raced off in search of the missing inhabitants, they ultimately found no one, and instead deduced that the grave could not have been dug up by an animal. Since then, the story has been reported in many different books, with some people explaining strange lights, empty graveyards, and an indeterminate number of people missing from the village. Some, including the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, have dismissed the case as an urban legend. Hmm. Well, let's hope so. Number 7. The Devil's Sea our number 7 pretty closely resembles the Bermuda Triangle, but this time it's way over next to Japan on the other side of the world. Just like the Bermuda Triangle, ships have been disappearing here for as long as we can remember. So much so that Japan officially declares it a danger zone for all ships. Something's up with Japan and its oceans, since way back in the day when the Mongols tried to invade them. Typhoons and unexplained circumstances basically sunk the invader's fleet I think we before know they could even reach the shore. This go, crazy go phenomenon Godzilla. continued up until pretty much the present day, when the Japanese sent military ships in to investigate why so many of their fishing ships and other ships got sunk. They scarily also never returned back to report what they found. One theory is that the volcanic activity around there creates gases that explode when they reach the surface. 
and that this would actually sink ships. But all we really know is that ships go in, and they do not come out to tell the tale. Number 6. Farming for Freaks This list definitely wouldn't be complete without more alien accusations, this time coming from Bigelow Ranch, formerly named Skinwalker Ranch. For over 50 years, people have been crying wolf over UFO sightings, strange lights, noises, and a large amount of eerily dead animals that had been strangely mutilated. A series of articles by journalist George Knapp explain a couple's encounter with a bunch of different animals, including one wolf that, in a rage, attacked the farm's cattle over and over in the presence of strange lights and radiation. When the farmers shot the wolf, they noticed that its eyes were blood red and how the wolf was seemingly impervious to every bullet they fired. These events happened so much that the National Institute for Discovery Science bought out the farm to observe and collect data from the area. So far, all the signs of activity have been kept quiet and secret by the Institute. Maybe it's a special type of werewolf, but whatever they know, they won't tell us. These close encounters are really, really strange. Number 5. Anything but Pleasant Alright, so Point Pleasant? Doesn't that sound like the name of a town in some 60s alien movie that's about to get terrorized by some extraterrestrial monster? Well, basically, I guess this town was the inspiration for some of those crappy film renditions. Point Pleasant is a small town in West Virginia that suffered from attacks from the Mothman, strangely enough, in 1966 and 1967. It was characterized by large wings, red eyes, and an enormous height. Hundreds of people claimed this to be true. They even claimed that government agents were seen from time to time dressed in black investigating the surroundings of the town, secretly for alien activity. What made this even stranger was that the people suspected these government agents to be extraterrestrial themselves, I noting the that they spoke the and man. acted incredibly odd when encountered, kind of like those aliens from XCOM. The events in Point Pleasant peaked in December of 1967 when the main bridge in the town collapsed, bringing with it 46 people to the bottom of the river. Are these events connected? Some residents think so. Number 4. Stay away from triangles. I guess triangles are the sign of the devil, because the sheer number of triangle-related incidents is honestly insane. I know that, it's like Michigan. This next location is the Michigan Triangle, where not only do planes disappear, but so do passengers mid-flight. In the 1930s, a captain flying from Pennsylvania to Wisconsin went back to take a break in his room. When the co-pilot went back to tell him to wake up several hours later, he was nowhere to be found. They searched the entire plane, but never found him. Oddly enough, other planes have disappeared in the same location, with one case of a plane requesting to change its altitude when suddenly it disappeared from the radar and went missing. Few traces of this aircraft have been discovered, and when a diving team went down into the lake, they found a strange obelisk and a ring of stones. Now, I'm not saying some satanic cult came down here to put a curse upon anyone trying to cross Lake Michigan, but all I'm saying is that people report boats sinking in sudden mysterious fog and aircrafts disappearing along with their crew in the weirdest, most unexplainable ways. Statistically, all we can say is that this place is somewhere you do not want to pass for your summer vacation. Number 3. The Dyatlov Pass Incident This one is so messed up that I can't even think of a clever name for it. It's no secret that the Soviets were pretty tight on their information back in the day, but in 1959, the bizarre death of nine hikers in the Ural Mountains has seriously intrigued both the Soviet government and others around the world. The Dyatlov Pass was being traversed by a few hikers when they realized in the haze of a snowstorm that they had gone off course. To their misfortune, they ended up at a place called Dead Mountain. Yeah, that's not something you want to hear when you in the Russian cold. Ooh, Following that, they set up camp to wait it out until they could regain strength and keep going. After 20 days without contact, naturally, people set out to figure out what happened to them. To the searchers' horror, they found every member of the expedition dead. But boy, did it get so much freakier. Like, actually, this story is nuts, and it creeps me out quite a bit. At first, they found the camp, tents torn open from the inside. As they followed the tracks, they found five of the missing hikers scattered in a forest, barely dressed in their underwear. Authorities noticed the branches up high were broken and that perhaps they were climbing up trees to avoid something. Most of these guys and girls died of hypothermia, but suffered some small fractures and other injuries. Still, the worst was yet to come. 
The remaining three were discovered, they suffered traumatic blunt force injuries that were so strong that it couldn't have possibly been inflicted by people. To make it even crazier, funeral goers described the corpse's skin to be abnormally colored, and a radiation test discovered extremely high levels of radiation on them and in the surrounding areas of the Diathlov Pass. There are a couple theories here, one suspecting an avalanche and another of Soviets testing a secret radioactive weapon upon these hikers. The reason for controversy on top of these facts is that the documents surrounding the investigation were kept secret until the fall of the Soviet Union in the 1990s. And when investigated, it was found that many documents had gone missing. People reported sightings of strange orange glows. Was it some mutated beast or Soviet secret weapons testing on their own people? It remains hush hush. Number 2. Mr. Hands Ever seen the movie Jew On, aka The Grudge? Remember the scene where it suddenly appeared and took the wheel? I wonder if that scene was inspired by our next location. In the 1920s, a particular road in Dartmoor in Devon, England saw numerous deadly car crashes. Every person died in their fatal car crash, and police were confused as to why this seemingly uninteresting and regular road was the site of so many fatalities. One unfortunate day, a driver going down this road swerved and crashed his car, but managed to survive. As he regained consciousness in the hospital, he explained in horror how a pair of hairy hands seemingly magically gripped the steering wheel and made it swerve out of control. Like most of us, the police thought he was insane. It's weird. It wasn't until more people crashed and explained the exact same occurrence that everything really hit the fan. Seems a little far-fetched to me, but hey, I've heard stranger things. Number 1. A Bridge Too Far Gothic castles have always been kind of iconic when it comes to supernatural activity, but this location is puzzling in that it doesn't just affect people, it affects dogs too. In Scotland, there is a bridge named the Overtone Bridge that is overlooked by an old castle. Over 50 dogs have jumped from the exact same spot That's on the bridge weird. and have committed suicide in the past decade, all being pet dogs with long snouts. Yeah, that's right, the exact same spot for 50 different dogs. This phenomenon is something animal psychologists cannot even explain. One leading explanation revolves around a haunting spirit of the Lady of Overtone Castle who is still spiteful to this day, and is haunting the bridge maliciously. In 1994, Kevin Moy, in a crazed state, threw his toddler from the exact same spot where the dogs jump from on the bridge to his death. When arrested, he claimed he heard voices that told him his son was the Antichrist and to throw him off the bridge when he got there. Locals allegedly fear the forces surrounding this area. It still isn't explained why dogs walk with their owners and suddenly leap without warning in the exact same spot where Kevin killed his baby. One psychologist visited the bridge to investigate, but claimed he felt incredibly strange, as if someone had jabbed him in the back and prodded him to leap. That's one place I think I'll keep out of my vacation plans. If you google it, you'll see they even had to put warning signs on both sides of the bridge. Keep them on a leash, folks. Well, that was a very interesting video of the 10 most mysterious places on the planet. And um, that first one that he was talking about, Superstition Springs, I live close to it. I can be there in... 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, I've hiked it. Uh, me and my son have hiked it, some of it. Um, there's a, This mountain is, uh, is amazing. Um, there are Indian villages that have just been abandoned there that nobody knows what happened to the Indians. It is rumored uh, that there's a passageway that goes to the underworld and will lead you like a vortex into New Mexico. And supposedly the stories go that Geronimo would escape the police by going through these secret caverns and then pop up in New Mexico or Colorado somewhere. Um, there are miners that are still looking for the lost Dutchman's um, treasure. And they are armed and they get quite agitated when they see you walking around. Um, they're afraid you're going to, to steal their claim, you know, and it's like, hey, calm down, dude, calm down. Everybody, calm down, calm down. Um, but that was an interesting video. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that video. How about that last one with the bridge with dogs just jumping off like that? That's crazy, dude. Like, I want to go check these out, man. I want to go see these things and do videos on them. I think it'd be so cool.
I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching our videos. Will you please subscribe to our channel and will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thank you.